Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a little review on the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette and also the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I got both of these products in the mail last week. I did order them with my own money because I was so excited to be trying this out. I mainly placed my order because I saw so many people rave about this product and I really wanted to try it out for myself. And then for the past couple of months, I've just been wanting to try this Master Matte eyeshadow palette. I have seen some mixed reviews on it so I was excited to give it a try myself. But if you are new here then hi welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos four times a week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now if you want to see my thoughts on both of these Makeup by Mario products then please keep watching. So first a little bit about the eyeshadow palette. I have the information on my phone right here. This is the Master Matte eyeshadow palette and on the Makeup by Mario website this retails for 57 euros. I did not pay that for it. I do have the pro discount on the Makeup by Mario website which gets me 30% off so I didn't pay 57. I think I still paid around like 39 or something. So this is what the palette looks like and as you can see we just have a variety of shades. I'm going to show you the close-ups in a bit when I'm starting the tutorial but this is described as Mario's ride or die mattes uniquely shaded and inspired by human skin tones from light to deep. So I thought this would be such a nice like transition palette or companion palette to some palettes that have mostly shimmers in there. I do think it's a nice idea to be able to create a nice matte eye look with this and then reach for a different palette for a shimmer. I'm not going to be sharing my thoughts just yet but I do want to say it turned out different than I was expecting and if you saw the thumbnail and the title you can probably tell if I'm a fan or not but yeah. Wait until the actual tutorial portion of this video to see what my thoughts on this are. And then we have of course the Moisture Glow Plumbing Lip Serum. This retails for 26 euros on the Makeup by Mario website. I have mine in the shade Bare Glow and this is described as a hydrating melting glossy balm to drench lips in a dewy like shine in seven inclusive shades. I am wearing this right now and as you can see it looks super pretty but I'm going to show you how I'm applying this as well and what it looks like on my lips before and after. But now that we know a little bit more about these products let's get started with the tutorial portion of this video and see what I actually think about both of these products. Hi everyone, I'm actually very close to the camera right now. A few of you guys have actually asked me to zoom in a little bit more when I'm doing these like eye looks so you can see better what I'm doing. But before I start with the eye look, I want to apply a little bit of this Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. These have been absolutely so popular for the past couple of weeks. I know they're sold out all the time. I think at the time I'm filming this, they're also sold out, but I will have them linked down below in case they are available again. But I got mine in the shade Bare Glow and this is just basically like a very juicy looking lip balm, lip plumper type thing. It definitely plumps the lips. This is not a first impression. I have already worn this like two or three times and so far I've really liked it. I've worn it on its own but also on top of a lip liner. I think for now I want to apply it on its own so you can really see the true shade. Basically this comes in like a little packaging like this. Then you take this cap off and then right here you have the actual lip serum. Feels very nice and look how glowy that is. So I really like this shade too. It's definitely a very wearable shade. I think it's super nice. It feels nice on the lips. It feels a little plumping, but it's not painful. Usually I'm not a big fan of like plumping things. This one actually feels really comfortable and I really like how juicy it makes the lips look. So let's just keep this one on my lips and now start with the eye look. The palette just comes in this black cardboard box, actually super simple. And then the back just has like all the ingredients and information on there. This palette is made in the USA and it has a 24 month shelf life. So that's pretty nice. It only has mattes like the name says. So that's very different for me. I usually like palettes a lot that have shimmers in there, but I thought it'd be fun to try an all matte palette as well. For some reason, I thought this was going to be sort of like a matte plastic, but it's actually very shiny, but it just looks super like plain and simple. We have the back right here. As you can see, the back of mine is a little bit it's looking a little bit rough. It has these like black edges sticking to the sticker and I think that is because they put white packaging into a black cardboard so it's going to stain a little bit. I think that is the reason but again the back is just super simple. has all the names on there. Just to give you a close-up this is what it looks like and as you can probably tell I have used this palette already. And that is because I didn't want to give a first impression but I want to give a true review and right off the bat I'm going to start by saying I was not 
not the biggest fan when I used this last week. I used it on Thursday and I really sort of like messed it up. It was my first time working with this formula. I didn't apply an eye base and it went very well. Until I started working with the deeper mattes, I found that it went more patchy on my lid and it was kind of hard to blend out so I really wanted to give it another try so on Friday I tried it again with my Rare Beauty eye primer and I liked it a lot more I was way more careful but still when I applied like one of these deeper shades it went a little bit patchy so I want to show you guys on camera today how it's going to be looking I am going to be using the Rare Beauty eye base I'm just going to try our very best to make this work because it is a beautiful palette so like I said I'm going to be starting with my Rare Beauty eye base this is the Rare Beauty Always an optimist eye primer and this just comes in only one shade I have been using this primer for I think a week now and I really like it I used to not use an eye primer but mainly use concealer but I really like this I feel like it makes an even base for the lids I have quite oily eyelids and I feel like it really helps with that and it definitely helps with blending the shadow I have quite hooded eyes as you can see so that is always like the biggest trouble for me with eyeshadow it's going to crease in the hood of my eye and that is why I thought I would try out an eye primer to see if it actually works and while I don't think any eye primer can help with my eyeshadow staying all day because it's just the shape of my eye because of the hood it is going to go in this fold eventually and it is always going to crease that's just like always the case I think it definitely helps with the longevity and I feel like my eyeshadow looks nicer a little bit longer than without the eye primer so I just basically massage this in with like a big brush like this sometimes I use a smaller one but I have been really liking using this one and as you can see it just creates a very even base it sort of makes the base a little bit lighter as well so these shades are really going to be visible so the first thing I'm going to do is take a big fluffy brush I'm going to be taking the shade matte one which is just the lightest shade out of the palette and I'm going to be applying that all over the lid to sort of like set the base we have I love it when a palette comes with a shade like this because then I don't have to use like a setting powder because I do always like to set my eye base just to prevent it from creasing very fast this palette also has a mirror which is always nice this shade is just super super nice I just sort of like press this in the lid so I hold my brush quite close to the bristle so I have a bit more pressure now taking a smaller fluffy brush this is the spectrum b07 from the Emily in Paris brush set I'm going to take a mix of this shade and this shade so it's I think matte 2 and matte Four. I think they work really well so I'm going to pop both of them on my brushes hold my brush at the very end of the handle so we have a very light pressure and just brush us through the crease and I think this is going to be a really really nice transition shade I really don't really wear all matte looks but I feel like this would be just like a really nice transition palette to have for like quads or something where you just want like a few more shades this is what it looks like it definitely makes my eyes look a little dry and I don't know what it is I think it's just a very dry formula not super creamy now I'm going to be taking this smaller brush, which is the Spectrum A12, also from the Emily in Paris brush set. And I want to use this shade right here to see if we can deepen it up a little bit. So if I'm reading it correctly, this is the shade Matte 5. And I'm just going to put that on this brush and sort of like put it in the outer corner of my eye and also bring it into the crease. I'm going to take a bit more of that shade matte 4 and sort of like go over it with that shade. Then I'm taking the same big fluffy brush that we just used for that second shade and I'm going to go over this and blend it all together. Now I'm taking this small fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E25. I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is the shade matte 8. And I'm going to take that on my brush. This is more of a warm tone shade, so I want to make this look a bit more warm. And I'm slightly sort of like dabbing this on the outer corner of the lid and also bringing it to the crease. Then I'm mixing in a bit of the shade Matte 7 as well with that same brush. And then we're blending with a different brush. 
taking this big fluffy blending brush from Morphe. This is an R39, holding it at the very end of the handle as well and with very, very light pressure blending this all together. And again, I'm having the same issue. So notice, notice the deeper shade right here. I feel like it's not moving now that we've put it down and I don't know what it is. It just doesn't seem to blend out how little or light pressure I'm putting. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it definitely doesn't look nice and blended. And even if I take like one of the lighter shades on my brush and go over it, I feel like it still doesn't blend out nice and I'm so not used to that for my shadows like my Charlotte Tilbury shadows or Natasha Denona shadows always blend out. I'm disappointed, I don't know. I mean it's not terrible but you see this dark spot right here it just does not blend out and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's just like the palette or it is the combination of the palette on the type of eyelids that I have. Like I said, I also tried it without an eye primer. I had the same issue. I have been loving the eye primer with my other palettes, so I feel like it's definitely not the eye primer. I think it's just the palette. Taking this shade again and going over all of that, I'm getting a slightly bit annoyed because I have to work so hard with this palette. And if it was like a drugstore palette, I wouldn't mind because I don't mind working with the shadow a bit more if I paid not a lot of money for this. But considering this palette is somewhere between $40 and $50, I don't feel like I should work so hard to get this to work. Taking this pencil brush, I'm going to be taking this shade right here and apply it on the lower lash line and sort of connect it to the outer corner. Taking just any clean brush, I'm going to blunt this out a little bit. I didn't want to do this, but it's already not looking the best anyways. So we're going to need to try one of the deeper shades in the palette. And I think I'm going to use this one. And we're going to see if we can either save this look or we're going to make it 10 times worse, but we'll see. Here to show you guys if you should spend your money on this palette. And at this very moment, I do not think you should spend your money on this palette. I want to declutter this palette. I'm done. I'm literally doing nothing wrong. I'm using the exact same ways. I'm applying eyeshadow as I normally would. And I watched a video, I think from Soph. She said it was patchy on her too, I believe. But so many other people love this palette and I don't get it. How is this like not patchy on the rest? I'm like second guessing my makeup skills here, even though I know it's not my makeup skills because any other palette I can make look good. The Patrick Ta palette blends like a dream. But this, I feel like I need to work so hard. In an attempt to sort of save this eye look, I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and go over everything. I'm honestly disappointed. I wanted to love this palette so, so bad, but I've tried it three times now, three or four times, and every single time I've not liked it. The only time I liked it was the second time I used it, but that was because I put like a Patrick Ta topper on top of it. So like the shimmer was sort of like hiding the patchiness and... Let's take a look, you guys. It's already ugly anyway, so I want to come closer so you can actually see it. Here we have the look, and if I look close into the camera like this, I don't think it even looks that bad, but when I slightly tilt my head back, you really see this patch right here of eyeshadow that just not want to blend. And I think we've tried everything by now. I've tried blending it out with different shades. I've tried a different brush. It just does not want to blend. And the same on this eye, you see this patch right here? just doesn't want to move. I wanted to like even do a shadow liner, but I'm done with this palette. I really don't want to put in any more attempts to make it work because I've tried three times now. So I'm going to go off camera right now, apply some mascara and some lashes, hope some nice fluffy lashes can hide the patchiness a little bit. And then we'll be back for my final thoughts on this Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I do like the lip plumber though. Super nice, I wanna get more shades. So I'm back, I just applied some lashes and mascara and this is the finished look. I do like it more with the lashes than I did with just the eyeshadow, but I'm going to have to say I 
don't like this palette. I'm disappointed and I'm just sad about that and I also kind of feel bad because I usually share like positive reviews. I'm usually like positive about things I'm trying because I always like find a way to make things work but this I've tried three times now and, and every time I've tried this I've genuinely just sort of like hated how the eyeshadow looks and for a palette that is this expensive I feel like I shouldn't have to work so hard for it. So I'm honestly disappointed by that. I feel sad because I do love the brand. I do love this lip plumper. I do think they have really nice product. This is really nothing against the brand, just this particular product did not work for me. And like I said, I have seen a lot of people who really liked it, but I have also seen other people that weren't a fan of it, just like I'm not a fan of it. So maybe it just depends on your eye type or something. But for me, this is definitely a palette I'm going to be decluttering very soon. I'm going to see if I can make someone else happy with this palette because there's no point in me keeping it in my collection if I know I'm not going to be reaching for it. And even though I like to try my best to make things work, I feel like after three times if it still doesn't work and makes me sad about my makeup look, it's not worth me reaching for. So honestly, super gutted that this palette didn't work out for me, but I would not recommend this Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. That being said, the Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Serum, I highly recommend. I think this is amazing. I love how it feels on my lips. I want to apply a little bit more. It just feels so nice and fresh and glowy and juicy. It makes my lips look super nice. And also with a lip liner, this is honestly beautiful. I really like this shade and I want to try more of them. So, okay everyone, then this was it for my little Makeup by Mario review where we tried the Plumping Lip Serum and also the Master Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. Let me know your thoughts on both of these products down below. What do you think of the eye look? And if you have tried anything from Makeup by Mario that you think I should try, let me know as well because I love to give the brand another try and try something different. But if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!